Uh, point of order, Ron Mark. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Look, I'm going to ask for your forbearance. Uh, it's come to my attention, and I need to start by saying this is the first opportunity that I've had to, to come and raise this point of order in the House. It's regarding a matter which I think you should take very seriously. Sir, uh, it has been reported back through, that, through my office to me that in this debate, at a time when the Honourable Jackie Dean was speaking, a member of the government benches made a very unparliamentary comment about you, sir. Uh, and at this order. point in time, Chris Bishop has not stood to withdraw I and apologise for having done so. Order. I was, uh, the point of order was brought up at that time. Um, I had the person who'd made that comment, I had indicated to them that it was unacceptable. While I didn't order, While I didn't uh, take that further than that, the point was made and I ruled at that time and that was the end of the matter. So there is no further discussion on it. I acted at the time. Now I'm calling the next speaker. Point. Is this, I hope just you're not to, going to... Just to be to, uh, sure that we are... Sir, are we talking about the same incident, sir, because this was not clearly audible to you. You gave no sign. My reports are from the people who have been listening and watching that you did not act on this particular occurrence from Chris Bishop because you did not hear it. Well, if a, a member in the House had heard something at the time, they would have brought it to my attention, and there was nothing brought to my attention at the time. You can't, at a later stage, come in and say something happened. It has to be dealt with at the time, and I did deal with an issue that came up, which a point of order did come up from um, Chris Bishop, and I dealt with that at the time, just as I did with Jackie Dean at the time. And uh, order, I'm, I'm trying to rule here, any point, if some uh, indiscretion has happened, it must be dealt with at the time, not at a later stage. So as far as I'm concerned, that matter is over and we're now moving on with the debate. Separate point of order then, sir. Uh, I hope you're not going to relitigate what I've just ruled on, I'm Mr Mark. I'm not going to relitigate that incident, sir, but I am going to make a request of you, sir. Um, Ron Mark, sir, that's the point the question you're making. The question is, if a, an incident such as the one you've just described occurs and a person is unable to get to the house and this is the first opportunity and, and they and for some time, is that not considered to be the earliest possible moment? Could you please deliberate on that and give us a ruling? Because this means that if no one else heard it but one person and that person was on the motorway driving and it might take half an hour, an hour for that person to get to the house. If, if you're saying that be, because it wasn't raised at that very instant, order. points of order should be heard in but silence, Anne Tolly. Your order, experienced order, member, you know order, far better order. than that. The member will sit. Order. The member will sit. Member will sit. Order. I have ruled on this matter, and as the clerk has just informed me, if there are matters where someone feels aggrieved or an indiscretion has happened, they have to be brought up at the time by someone who is present. It's, you can't come back at a later stage and then indicate that you feel aggrieved because one heard something by way of uh, audio or by way of television. I have ruled on this matter and that is the end of the story. We are now moving on to the next speaker. Who I have ruled on this matter, uh, have, Mr uh, Peters, uh, and I hope that... If, unless this is a new matter... It's a new matter. ...then I, I will you. hear the new matter, the Right Honourable Winston it's Peters. It's your valuable reputation we're seeking to defend, Mr Speaker, Mr Chairman. Mr Chairman, you recall that there is a precedent that is opposite to the one that the clerk has just given you. It was where my colleague made a sign in this House, which was later picked up by a camera, and then long after the event, long after the time frame that we have got here, it was raised in this House as being improper behaviour. So I've heard the clerk speak, uh, what, I've heard the clerk's ruling, but there's a precedent outside of that ruling, and my colleague, unfortunately, is the centre of that precedent. That's why, why I'm asking you, is the okay. clerk sure of his, fi his, I, his facts here? I, I thank the member. I'll ask Chris Bishop when he made or made a comment that um, might have uh, taken offence, someone might have taken offence. That's, no, I'm just asking first whether Chris Bishop uh, made something that I was unaware of, and it was directed at me. I understand. I, um, if he sir, did. I think, I think, I think. Um, no, just Mark. answer my question. 
did you or did you not make a comment that was reflected on the, on the speaker? I was, I was reflecting back what um, Mr Lees Galloway was saying to my colleague Jackie Dean and pointing out that the reference sure. to you is a you, reference that's to the right. Well, that's exactly that, that's, that's brought the context up. Thank you, thank you. Made. And that's exactly... the only thing I can think remember, of, Mr Mark's referring Remember, so, thank you. Well, that, that's exactly... I heard... Order! Order now. I heard, that, I heard the comments made by Mr Ian Lees Galloway on two occasions. At the time... At the time, I indicated to Mr Galloway that that was unacceptable. He acknowledged that. At the time of the two points of order, first by Jackie Dean about barracking, I dealt with that matter. Chris Bishop then indicated his point of order, which was in reference to what Mr Galloway had said, and I ruled on that matter at the time. End of story. Now, we're moving to the debate. Oh, the Honourable Anne Tolley. Mr. I, Speaker, Mr. Speaker Honourable I, I, just, I just think it is important as we, is as we discuss this, and I'm not trying to relitigate, but in fact the, the matter that um, the Honourable, Right Honourable Winston Peters raised was absolutely incorrect, and I'd hate that to stand on record, because in fact Ron Mark de denied that he had made that unparliamentary comment and was caught out simply because no, okay, someone was look, signing no, sure. and it was caught on uh, camera. Mr. Mr. Look, I'm not, I'm not, look, this has got nothing to do with this. The member will say, yeah. The, this, this is, um, we're not, we're not de delving into that. I'm going to call Dennis O'Rourke as the next speaker. Dennis O'Rourke. No, I've dealt with this matter, uh, I know Mr. You Peters. Have. Well, I've no. dealt with it and I don't want to hear any more with the well, members. Well, I came to speak. We're moving on. Well, I seek leave. I seek leave, therefore, seeking to table not the comment that was the offence, as the, minister, the member just said, but the photograph that was the offence. I seek leave to do that. Leave a sort for that purpose. Is there, there any objection? Yes. There is objection. I'm calling the next speaker, Dennis O'Rourke. Then why did I apologise? Thank you, Mr Speaker.